Hey Next Development people, it's been a while since I've posted anything on YouTube. Um, I'm standing here on the side of a hill so I thought, hey, I'll let you know what I'm thinking. So, I've got this block of land that I'm buying which is a subdivision site and uh, just finishing off the negotiation stuff on it and putting it together and it's a quite large chunk of land within very close proximity to Launceston. Um, it's got some amazing views right behind this camera right now and uh, it was on the market for quite a while and no one really wanted it and they took it off the market and did some other things with it and I even looked at it when it was on the market and thought hey you know this might be interesting what can we do and um, I couldn't see how it worked the density led to the zoning led to a lower density I worked out how much I know I've done a little bit of work with subdivision around here I know what it costs to put roads and services in and I couldn't get it to work and then I started spending some time up here walking around thinking about it and I realized that density said you could put 12 or more or like 15 possibly blocks up here but what was the point like you spend all your profit on a road and running your water services and all the other crap in so why not just build as many blocks as you can build straight off the road and I thought, oh, there's three access points, that's heaps. Um, so we can put lots of blocks in, but then one of the access points, I have alarm set on my phone to keep me on track for all the different things I do, and that's what just kicked in and cancelled that last video. So I'll cut these together and, you know, you'll get this brief interlude while I tell you about my alarm. Um, yeah, so... I put together a rough concept plan and my surveyor has gone over it and fitted it together and we're only getting six blocks. One of them's a hectare, um, it's basically the one right next to me there, and um, that one I'm actually going to keep. I've got some ideas for a Airbnb setup. I have a lot of hobbies that take up space, think cars, gardening, renoing which i'm getting more and more equipment for i'm getting to the point where a bit of a secure yard would be handy maybe a bit of a shed where i can store some stuff um, every time i need a tool i find it's cheaper to buy the tool if i'm going to use it a few times than hire it i mean for today um, i needed a plate compactor i'm starting to think maybe that's my next hunt on gumtree susan my wife um don't don't watch this video Anyway, so yeah, it's a good little subdivision. So here's how the figures pan out, and I'll put these up once I'm under contract. So, you know, safe, secure. Uh, figures are purchase price it will be about 250. Uh, purchase and like costs and all that sort of stuff. I have a structure already set up, so I don't need that. Um, you're talking 5% on costs, so that's let's say 15, it's up to 265. I need to do crossovers across two large crossovers, they're triple crossovers, and I need to pay for water and sewer connections. So water and sewer is about five grand a block. So we've got six of those, so there's 30 grand there. So we're now just a hair shy of 300. Uh, the crossovers, to be honest, without my fees in front of me, I can't remember what they cost, but let's say they're gonna cost me, say 20 grand, worst case scenario. I'm going to be in the hole for 315 and then my surveying and legal stuff to generate titles on everything on top. Let's say I walk out of this for about 330-ish, 330-ish, let's say that. Let's round it up to 350 and call it a, you know, rounding error. Um, I may spend a bit of money um, prepping the accesses, put uh, road base in, grade it really flat. Um, one of them's got a bit of steep kick in it, so I might grade that out just just to make it easier for people to visualize it. So you'll have these 15 meter wide accesses, which everyone will have five meters of title each, and then that'll come down to these blocks, which kind of like battle axe, mainland term, don't know what they call it in Tassie, uh, battle axe blocks, hatchet blocks, I think Victorians call them. And um, so there'll be three blocks off each access. Yeah, it'll be kind of cool. Now. Not the best suburb in the world, uh, but huge blocks with views of the city. Like I'm looking at Silo Hotel, I'm looking at the Gorge, I'm looking at the CBD. That's why I keep looking away from the camera. Um, it's a beautiful location, you've got a bit of river. Um, it's nice. So these blocks, if they were just suburban, would be 100-ish each. I'm not thinking that 150 will be hard to get. Maybe the corner one down the back, which is a bit weird, 
it's kind of got dual street access. So someone who wants a workshop on one access and a nice house access on the other might work really well for. Um, so maybe, it, say it's 100 for that. Let's say, let's say 125 average and I've got six blocks. So you're talking um, 750 grand for a 350 in. I originally was going to vendor finance this, but we couldn't quite get the vendor finance to work. They wanted a massive deposit, which, you know, it's fair. They own the land, but it was easier for me just to finance it, which is what I'm doing now. So, you know, I've got some finance costs. I've already got the structure. I've got some other stuff. My surveyor is coming in to, you know, help out with this project. He's a great guy. He's JVing in with me a bit just to kind of smooth things out. And I'll give a bit of profit share to him. So, you know, do the figures on that impressive and uh, this is a block of land I knew was here and I knew was for sale for like two years and no one else is looking at it so goes to show sometimes the best deals are right under your nose take it easy next dev people I'll uh, once I've got a contract this will go up so if you're seeing this contract is done and it's uh, unconditional just got to uh, do it and if you want a bit of insight into this I might put together a little closed Facebook group uh, and um, and share with a few people who I know, not random anybody's, but uh, probably invite only or something like that. And I'll share the actual figures, I'll share the process, I'll share some really detailed posts. I mean, what's, what's the point of hiding this sort of stuff? I may as well share it with you guys. You know, learn from my mistakes, I'm sure I'll make some. This one's simpler than any other. All right, so that video, the rest of that, was recorded quite a while ago and the contract negotiation took quite a while and a few other things changed so I'll do an update video on that but seeing as how this is the intro to the deal um, I will do a Facebook group on this if you guys want to hit me up I, on Next Developments on Facebook like my page and send me a message I'll set up a group and I'll share the details of this um,